Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sandblaster1987 here, and today I will be reviewing Megatron Sword from the Transformers Energon Roleplay Weapon Series, or the Energon Sword as it was called on the packaging. As you can see, Megatron Sword here is a translucent green blade with some custom purple paint that I added this week. In addition to a mostly dark purple hilt, crossguard and pommel with a black grip on the hilt and some green blades on the crossguard which flip out when you press the white button in the middle with a Decepticon symbol on it, like so. It is supposed to be collapsible into segments as well but because of a custom paint job I've elected to keep it at full length forever at this point. It is supposed to be only this long when it's fully retracted. So, to switch it on the on-off switch is on this side of the pommel, so press it like so, and... It's hard to tell because of the lighting in here, but it is now switched on and glowing like a lightsaber would be. It doesn't make any collision sounds when you hit the blade, but when you press the Decepticon symbol again... It makes the transformation sound effect. So, to switch off, just hit the switch again. The design is pretty much the same on both sides, aside from the screw holes on the underside. And the fact that the Decepticon symbol on this side is not a button, it's a solid piece. Now, Megatron's sword first appeared in episode 4 of the Transformers Energon cartoon series where it was cre created by Alpha Quintesson from the remains of Megatron inside Unicron's body and gifted to Scorponok as a symbol of his leadership of the Terracon drones prior to Megatron's resurrection. Then it was stolen by the Autobots and copied so that the Omnicons could use it as a means of controlling the Energon supply in their minds to protect it from the Terracons. And the human ally Kicker also used a copy of Megatron's sword for a while. But then once Megatron was resurrected in episode 6, he destroyed all of the Autobots copies of his sword so that his was the only one left. That more or less concludes my review, because this is a roleplay weapon I don't have a size comparison available. I'll leave a link in the description to my Megatron actual Transformer figure review from way back at the start of the channel in the description below. Join me next time when I'll be going back to my monthly vlog series for June 2022 with the history of the Saint Ranger concert in the Power Rangers series. Till then, till all.